and how's it going Adobe fam? It's Joshua Lufemi here live from LA, founder of the YouTube channel of the same name. And over the next few tutorials, we're gonna be diving into the world of After Effects, where I'm gonna show you how to make this crazy dope piece. Guys, this new series of tutorials that you're gonna be watching is called Learn From The Pros for Adobe After Effects. Adobe After Effects is a digital effects, motion graphics, compositing software, often used right alongside of Adobe's flagship video editing software, Premiere Pro, to create some incredible works of visual art. It's not as hard as you may think. In this second video, I'm gonna show you how to create a proxy. Proxies are basically low resolution duplicates of high resolution video files. The point is to actually use these lower resolution replacement video files while you're inside After Effects to allow for fast playback of video layers inside the timeline panel. After you're finished with the After Effects project, you then replace the low resolution video files with the original high resolution video files and export your project out. The important thing to remember when making proxies is that the aspect ratio of the proxy needs to match the original video file. For example, the 4K video file has a resolution of 4096 by 2160. When creating our proxy, we need to reduce each X and Y component of the resolution by the same amount to maintain the same aspect ratio. So in this case, we're gonna divide each by a factor of nine. This gives us a reduced resolution of 455.11 times 240 for our proxy. All right, guys, first things first, we're gonna go into Adobe Media Encoder. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the plus button and we're gonna go find the footage, the original footage that we want to turn into a proxy. We have conveniently named that footage, the footage. This is 4K footage that I shot on my Blackmagic Pocket 4K and it is ProRes and we're gonna change that again into a ProRes proxy. So first things first, we're gonna click on the first blue button. And we're gonna change the format. Make sure the format is on QuickTime. Leave the preset alone. We're gonna change the output name. Um, we're gonna to go to, um, we're gonna go out, we're gonna create a new folder called, we're gonna call it proxy because it's gonna be where our proxy is stored. Then I want to actually name it the exact same thing. I wanna name it the footage then click save. So basically, if you haven't caught up, we are naming our proxy footage the exact same name as our original footage. The only reason we can do that is because we're putting it in a separate folder. So our computer isn't confused. The original footage will be in the clips folder and the proxy footage, again called the footage, will be stored in the proxy folder. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go into the video tab and we're gonna change the video codec to ProRes um, 422LT, Apple Pro has 422LT for the proxy. And we're going to change the width again to 455.11, and the height is gonna be 240. Make sure that this is clicked so that um, the aspect ratio is not maintained. You want that to be crossed out, the lock to be out, the lock to be off. Okay, so we're gonna change the, make sure the frame rate is, uh, in this case, it's gonna be 23.976, whatever the frame rate is of your footage. We live in an NTSC country, AKA the US. If you live in a PAL country, like Australia, the UK, etc., you're probably gonna have this at 25 frames per second, but um, whatever your original frame rate is, use that. The field order, make it be progressive. Next, make sure that your pixel aspect ratio is square pixels. After that, I believe that's it. We're gonna click OK. After that, we're going to click on the play button to start this conversion. We're gonna convert this original footage to proxy footage using these settings that we just created. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into After Effects. I'm then gonna create a new project. Then I'm gonna go save that project. Let's save it as new project. This is a very dumb name, but it works for now. Okay, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna import our original footage. Make sure, make sure we go to the clips folder or wherever you stored it, the original footage, not the proxy footage, the original footage, bring that in. Heck, we'll put it in the timeline for now. You can take a look at what it looks like. It's pretty good. And um, kind of plays the, you know, this computer that we're using is actually pretty fast, but on your computer, it's probably gonna play 
it's probably your computer is probably going to have a significant harder time playing through this 4K footage, especially if you don't have a fast computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually attach proxies to this footage to again make it play through very smoothly to make our After Effects experience amazing. So this is the footage. We're going to right click and we're going to go to set proxy, go to file, and then we're going to go to the proxy folder and we're going to click on the footage. Um, we're going to click on the footage that we stupidly named the footage as well. Um, but again, this is the proxy version because it's in the proxy folder. Remember, we had the original footage called the footage, and then we had the proxy footage called the footage in the proxy folder. Click on the proxy. And that is now attaching this proxy to this footage right here. So you know that a proxy is attached to this footage because there is a white square right to the left of the um, the footage or, or the clip. So when you have the white square filled in, you can see that the proxy has been enabled over the original footage. Now you're actually looking at the proxy right now. See how it's kind of the resolution is way lower than if we click off the proxy. You click off the proxy by clicking off of clicking the uh, white square again. It takes the it changes the, the filled square to a unfilled square and you can see that the footage is crisp and the resolution is very, very high now. And then I'm going to click on it again. And there you go. The resolution is really, really low again. So what basically what you're going to do is when you're in After Effects, you're going to have the proxy on. Your computer is going to play through really smoothly because this is again, this isn't 4K footage. This is like 400 and 55 times 240 footage, so really low resolution. You can do all your masking, all your cutting, all the stuff I'm gonna show you in the next few tutorials, and it's gonna be amazing. After Effects is gonna love it, your computer's gonna love it, and it's gonna make your workflow a lot faster. Then at the very, very end, when you're done with your project, you just click on this white square again, and it pops all your low res footage back to high res footage, and it's amazing. Proxies are that easy, guys. Please make sure that you use a proxy every time you do a project in After Effects. Your computer will love you. Now, I want you to stay tuned for the next couple tutorials where I actually show you how to do this crazy cool masking trick. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and as always, remember to keep it chill.